We walk out of that courtroom. We want Grandmaster Jay to walk out with us. That's what we want. That's what we want. The scene today demanding full exoneration. That's what Grandmaster Jay's supporters are praying for this morning outside the federal courthouse in downtown Louisville. John Johnson was the leader of the militia group. He was convicted of a wanton endangerment charge after prosecutors say he pointed an assault rifle at LMPD officers during the 2020 protests. WHS 11's Alexis Jones has the official sentencing and reaction from supporters. Today's sentencing left loved ones and supporters disappointed and heartbroken, but they say it's not going to end here. They're not going to give up until Grandmaster Jay is free. It will go down on history that Louisville, Kentucky is on the wrong side of history. That's what it's going to go down in. Seven years and two months, a sentence that Grandmaster Jay's supporters are calling a miscarriage of justice. We want justice and we want it now. A federal judge announced John Johnson's fate Tuesday afternoon. Johnson was the leader of an armed black militia group called NFAC. He was found guilty of two charges after prosecutors say he pointed a gun at officers in September 2020 during a protest for Breonna Taylor. However, Johnson claims he was just trying to see who was on the roof and not trying to harm anyone. The judge dismissed a charge of assault on officers, which would have required 20 years in prison. However, Kathleen Parks of the National Action Network says that's not good enough. He should have walked out today as a free man. Amen. But it seems very obvious that the feds want to make an example out of this man. She and loved ones say they will not give up until the voice for justice is free. And so we will support an appeal. We've seen this playbook before with Malcolm X. We've seen it with Dr. King. We saw it with Angela Davis. She was a political prisoner, and so is Grandmaster Jack. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHS 11, on your side. Johnson will also have two years of supervised release after his time in prison.